Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to disassemble and reassemble the YJ axis cube or the YJ, YJ angle fluctuation cube. Now you need to know how to uh, disassemble a 3x3 first. And now I'll be putting that in reference. So you know that these are the edges, this is the center, these are the corners, corner, corner, and yeah, corner. So what you do is, this is edge, corner, corner, edge, corner, edge, edge. So what you do is, you, since you notice the edge, you know that this isn't. So you just pop it out, since it's just a regular 3x3 three three inside. So you turn it 45 degrees and pop out the piece. Just like that. It even looks like a F2, sort of. So just take this out, and then you, you have your two corners. Two corners. God, I hate this part. Oh god. Oh my god, my lighting almost just fell. Damn it. Alright, that should work. Just for the time being. Sorry for your scares, because the light almost fell on my head. Dumb light. Anyways, now you just... Do it again, take out the edge, corner, edge, corner, edge, oh, corner, no edge. Now you just turn it, pretty much, in any direction, and it'll just fall apart by itself. Now I'm thinking of a mod about this, about making a, what is it called, a, a clicking mechanism in here because it's very hard to track down the pieces because you don't know when you hit a quarter turn so I never know when I'm doing a quarter turn when I scramble this so I'm gonna put ball bearings in here so I can know which one I'm turning so yeah, this is the core I'm just gonna show you right now it has looks like a 3x3 core because it is you can't fit a 3x3 piece in here let me just show you an example I think you can, but actually, I don't think you can't. I don't think you can. No. Yeah, I don't think you can. See, you can fit it through here, but you can't. It's too tight. See how small the core is. Anyways, no, don't mind that. Now, you want to not. You don't have to sort these out, but it's very optional. But I'm just gonna put them to the side. Now, I don't know how to solve this, so I'm actually gonna organize it. I do not know how to solve this. I'm just gonna put it back in the solve position. I'm figuring it out. Figuring it out. So let me get started on my organization. I right, got my stuff reassembled. Or, um, organized. That's for a matter. So I'll just move these to the side. Now you got... I'm going to pick a side. It's going to be the... And you want to line up your center so it'll be easier to track down. So, orange and blue. So, there we go. All my centers are matched up. Now, it's okay if they do unturn themselves, but try not to. So, if you see this right here, looks like a trapezoid. Like, what will fit here, you want to find a white edge. See, you want to find a white edge. See, you want to find a cross here. So you want to find a orange, and you want to find a white, because it can only get fit one color. So, white. And these are trapezoids, the ones I'm showing you right now. There you go, you got one. I'm just going to finish it off. Make a trapezoid here. Wait, hold on. Um, yeah, make, I'm actually going to do this. Make a trapezoid here. So, I'm going to leave the core here, actually. I want an orange trapezoid. There we go. I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit. I can tell you right now, while I'm dis while I'm reassembling this, this cube is pretty hard to solve for me. Don't know why. Just can never wrap my mind around that this is a three x three, even though I disassembled it completely every time. 
Where's that corner? Where? And now you want to put a corner right here. You can see the slot for the corner. Nope. See, this is the right type of corner, but it's the wrong colors. And there's only two of them, so it shouldn't be hard to find. I don't know why. Am I missing it? <clears throat> That's very interesting. Can't find my corner. Huh. There it is. Ha, huh, it was hiding from me. There we go. Just put it into its corresponding color. So just push it in. If I even can. Why is this cube always against me? Even when solving. There we go. You, now you want a blue trapezoid. So it fits through here. So you just push it in. Or you turn it up a little bit. Um, just push it in as hard as you can. And then push it down. Now you have your little pyramid done. That's basically cross and F2O. I just did the cross right here. And I need to do another one and then F2O. So I just need to finish this layer. And then you finish the cross again. So now I'm going to do the another edge that's curvy. See like these edges? They're kind of curvy a little bit. I imagine them as. So I want a green and... This is green, but it's not the right type of green. I want green and white. So I need to find a green and white edge. Green and white. Oh, perfect. See green and white. So now you just put these together. Just have that. Now you want to put the corner in for the green for the white corner. One of these triangles, you want the white corner. Oh, oh my god, I noticed that. Oh, oops, just put it in there. Make sure you don't push too hard. There we go. You got your white corner. And now you want your white and red edge. <sighs> These are always the hardest. White and red edge, where are you? Oh, there we go. The white and red. Now I just turn it up right here, 45 degrees. And I'm actually going to zoom out now. 45 degrees and just... Place it in there if you can. Or try to, at least. Oh, there we go. Now you got your last little layer here. Um, now you're just going to do the same thing. You want to find uh, the um, green and orange. Is that right? No, I want to find the green and orange. There it is. See, green and orange. And I'm going to turn it because it's easier and I have that choice still to turn it. And I don't want to mess up all the progress I have. So now you want to put in the corner right here, this green corner. So just place it in there. To its corresponding shape. I shouldn't say color because... That's not right, sort of. And now you want to place your corresponding edge, I mean corner, with the shape. So, so this is the wrong way to put it. Just saying, even though it is the right color. You don't want to put it like this, even though that is technically, you can put it that way, but it'll be unsolvable. You don't want to put it like that, because then it'll be unsolvable unless you twist another one the right way. So you want to put it like that. So now you want to find the green and orange edge, which I already found. And then just turn it 45 degrees and pop it in. Same thing for here, except you want to do it with the trapezoid right here. Turn it 45 degrees and um, just pop it in. Not very hard. Now you got the last layer. Dun dun dun. Now what you want to do is you want to find your edges. Or at least one of the trapezoid edges, which is this one. So you just what you want to do is turn it 45 degrees and just... Pop it in there if you can. Or turn it a little bit so you can place it in there. There you go, you got your little edge. Now you want these two corners. So, one of the corners right here. Oh god. Now you want another corner, the red corner. And now you want the 
edges right here, this blue and red edge. Oh god, these edges take forever to push in. I swear they're so freaking hard. Okay. Well, this sucks. There we go. Oh my god, that was lucky. Now you want to put an edge for the trapezoid. Hopefully this goes better than my the one I just showed you. God. Hope this works out fine. Oh, there we go. Now that worked out perfectly. Now you have your last two corners and one edge, so just push them in as you know, the right way. Now take it and just turn it 45 degrees right now. Just push it as hard as you can. This will take so much effort that it sucks balls. Oh, God. Now, your axe cube should be fully functional now. Trigger work pattern here looks pretty weird. See, that's why I want to put ball bearings on the one to turn it. Does that look anything like the checkerboard pattern, really? That looks like it's messed up more than checkerboard pattern. <sighs> Alright, well anyways, that is the YJ Axis Cube. Um, how does someone read someone? I hope this video has helped you. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.